गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू सुपर हेल्दी सुपर मॉर्निंग विद डॉक्टर शिल्पी दिस मंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर आई वॉन्टेड टू डेडिकेट टू प्रोमोटिंग नॉर्मल डिलीवरी नेचुरल बर्दिंग एक्सपीरियंस एंड ऑल्सो अ वेरी हेल्दी एंड हैप्पी प्रेगनेंसी एंड दिस एंटायर मंथ वी गोइंग टू यू नो टॉक अबाउट healthy pregnancies happy pregnancies and how to achieve that you know uh, that uh, happiness quotient for everybody you know uh, not only it it's not only about uh, pregnancy uh, is for a woman no it's never like that pregnancy is a happy uh, time for the husband for the family for the sister of the pregnant lady for the brother of the pregnant lady for the friend of the pregnant lady and it's all about excitement it's all about spending time with each other it's all about sharing uh, what's good about pregnancy and it's essentially a happy journey that everybody wants to you know enjoy and maybe that is one of the reason why it is such an extended period in your life that really you should look forward for every single day with excitement and uh, we're going to take this forward and i always suggest people that never ever compare your pregnancy that's the tip number 1 and every single day of your pregnancy from the day of diagnosis or from the day you're planning pregnancy it should be super special for you and you should look forward for what is happening with you in that moment in that day so what people tend to do generally you know the generally what they do is uh they kind of uh, ask their friends they kind of ask their uh, you know uh, relatives or ask their previously delivered people their experiences and also uh, uh, read a lot about uh, pregnancy and all that stuff in google but it doesn't work like that you know your pregnancy is your pregnancy and you should have an open mind to experience that joy or experience the experiences that your pregnancy is giving and never compare and i wish really that pregnancies were you know monotonous then it's worthwhile you know even thinking about it but it's not like that every pregnancy is different same person getting pregnant twice or thrice is also different so your experience of pregnancy varies within you also so don't expect anything that is going to be the same with the next person or the person you are comparing so stop comparing and enjoy your pregnancy and make it a beautiful experience and we will start uh, <clears throat> everything uh, each an individual topics from tomorrow onwards and today i wanted to give you a gist into what all we can talk about uh, in pregnancy and uh, when it comes to you know pregnancy and health and everything there are so many wrong notions that are attached to uh, normal delivery there are so many wrong notions attached to natural birthing there are so many wrong notions attached to actually pregnancy care itself so let us demystify everything and we will work towards achieving a happy healthy and a pregnancy that gives lot of bonding between uh, couples and also a lot of bonding between uh, people per se around them and today it is an introductory session and from tomorrow onwards we'll select one topic and we'll cover that topic in a single day if this doesn't finish in a month i'll uh, allocate another month also uh, for the topics to be covered regarding pregnancy childbirth and a natural birthing experience so when we are talking about uh, you know what uh, are the real things that you should look forward for healthy and happy pregnancy yes pregnancy is a special uh, uh, it should be special basically whether planned or unplanned because uh, there are some way a journey towards fulfilling your uh, womanhood and they take you forward for a blissful life with children full of excitement and uh, uh, even though whether you're prepared or not prepared when you have taken a decision to continue with pregnancy you should fall into line especially the entire family and both the couple should fall into line and experience this bliss rather than fighting over you know uh, uncertain decisions so 
how to have a healthy and happy pregnancy is when you are having good antenatal checkups so wherever possible you should always have a proper antenatal care and when it comes to proper antenatal care it means that you should be booked at a place that is going to cater to all kinds of uh, you know healthy stuff for you and also it is not about uh, you know it's not, it's not about medicine it is not about tests and it is not about uh, you know just the checkups it is about a beautiful journey and uh, you should choose a place where the journey is complete and you as couple will enjoy the entire uh, you know spirit of uh, the parenthood and you know going through pregnancy so it is important that for for me it's always about good antenatal care good antenatal uh, you know uh, vitamins that you need to take anybody who's planning pregnancy should start folic acid in before that that's very very important and we're going to talk everything about vitamins and supplements during pregnancy and their importance and uh, the next thing is that is very important is exercise and we will have a lot of sessions about exercise types of exercise and which exercise is really good for you so it is important that uh, we have exercise as a part and parcel of uh, the pregnancy journey and routine uh, i won't say it should be a monotonous exercises the one two three kind of a thing no it is not that it can be beautifully catered and it can be beautifully adjusted to whatever uh, uh, you know method of uh, exercises that you want to just for fitness just for well-being just to improve the blood supply and uh, i always suggest that you should have a birth plan keep writing keep writing uh, about your pregnancy keep writing about how you want to enjoy your pregnancy keep writing and keep uh, marking things that have happened and always maintain a book so that tomorrow when you want to look through your pregnancy journey you should have a journal or a book that really represents you that is why i always encourage in uh, making of scrapbook wherein uh, we give them certain ideas and we ask them to maintain a book uh, maintain a writing pattern uh, write your thoughts tomorrow you can forget your thoughts but the paper will not forget uh, and you will have something to look forward to your entire pregnancy and you can show your children tomorrow this was your journey and this was the birth plan that you had so always write it down whenever you get a thought just write it down uh, you can have a note page in your phone or you can have a book anything anything that is worthwhile to store as an information the first news the first cake the first checkup the first scan everything is so special and uh, we would definitely like it to be more more uh, involving so that is uh, how you should experience pregnancy and go about with that and <clears throat> and educate yourself the right way you know there's so much of unwanted information on the net that people tend to go through that information and get a uh, lot of unwanted stuff so it is important that you get authentic information it is important that you don't read about complications which you are never going through read about something that will give you that happiness you know uh, uh, about uh, how the baby smiles inside the womb or how the baby moves inside the womb don't read about things that uh, you should get your baby movements by fifth month or you should get uh, 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 you know you should get vomiting so you should get all these things are not predictable and they are not very scientific and you should enjoy your pregnancy out of the box and never ever think that this is the rule science is never about rules science is about uh, variability yes science is about variability and nothing goes in the same pace in every pregnancy so just don't read nonsense definitely keep yourself happy rather than invest time in reading some comedy or some uh, good books something about some religious books or some some information that gives you that wiseness and something about the quality of life all these things but never never read nonsense and never try to dig into uh, the subject okay obstetrics is a huge vast ocean still we uh, 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 we learn things every day after 20 25 years of experience with medicine we still learn every single day so nothing is going to teach you in a few days and just stay out of learning uh, obstetrics as a subject okay uh, rather than 
learn motherhood as a subject and um, you know um, i always say that when you are planning pregnancy just change yourself small small things you know stop junk food uh, shift to organic food shift to sustainable methods of living uh, uh, shift to uh, eating local eating seasonal uh, eating your ancestral food so that is the first step to health and when you have to talk about first step to health you should always talk about health in per se and not only about one medicine folic acid or one uh, eight hours of sleep or something like that no everything that you do in your life you should change one uh, one uh, after the other especially uh, you should avoid your toxic uh, cleaners in the house toxic uh, materials uh, you know uh, the cosmetics the harsh cosmetics that you're using all these things make a lot of difference and one step at a time you should uh, go ahead there's somebody who's asking can contraceptives be taken for pcod of patients already having small gallstones should not be a problem you can take the low dose contraceptives they are absolutely safe and uh, we will take questions as and when they come but we will go ahead with the topic and uh, uh, you know uh, you should uh, you know channelize your energies and you should try being calm and try being positive uh, start your vitamins take nutritious food and uh, you know uh, stay away from anything that is artificial and uh, try uh, sticking yourself to natural products so these things give you a little more healthy experience and they will definitely help you in the long run and uh, your daily course daily activities set in a exercise regime set in fit fitness regime set in cooking regimes and uh, establish uh, <coughs> un uh, you know settled areas like uh, where to keep things and how to keep things and what are your daily activities and uh, how are you going to clean your house everything you know everything they should fall in place and uh, <coughs> one important thing that we going to allocate the entire one day session is about weight gain so weight gain is not as simple as you think there is no rule that any people with 80 kg or 90 kg should gain 10 or 15 kg it's not like that it is already based on your bmi so if you are already higher bmi try to lose weight and get pregnant and do not try to gain weight in the first few months of pregnancy uh, that is when you can even lose uh, weight with your you know little vomitings and all these things here and there you will in fact lose weight so nothing to worry nothing uh, bothersome so Uh, try to maintain healthy weight and uh, try to maintain healthy lifestyle anything that you eat natural products of in the season and uh, made by you in your kitchen you will never gain weight so that is very very important put effort you know both the partners you know put effort in learning simple cooking skills that will help you in the long run when your wife is caring you should be able to help her and i insist that men should learn <coughs> cooking in some way or the other and uh, that is how you going to be a happy family and a complete family so that is one uh, thing that i wanted to talk and eat eat foods which are rich in folic acid the vegetables the fruits the sprouts the grains and cereals and all these things are very rich in folic acid b12 and all that that is very healthy for pregnancy we going to have one session dedicated entirely for this kind of a discussion and uh, calcium rich foods uh, not only that milk and milk products are calcium rich there are vegan people out there for them sesame seeds are calcium rich ragi is calcium rich uh, green leafy vegetables are calcium rich so there are other sources of calcium definitely we'll look into that and calcium is something that you should really look forward to include in your diet when you're pregnant and uh, Uh, for somebody who are non vegetarian and who are in a habit of having fish you should look for sources of fish that is uh, not uh, mercury loaded so definitely uh, you should take help of some uh, you know ethically grown fish uh, that is available online or uh, sources that really give you the healthy fish that you can eat without even concerning uh, about the bad effects of mercury or heavy metals loaded in the fish so for meat eating people definitely it is an important thing even for egg eating people it is very important that the source of meat and egg and fish are uh, known and you should make it a point that you are having healthy stuff in your plate because uh, agricultural stuff 
at least when you buy it in an organic store you'll have lesser exposure to pesticides and you know fertilizers and all that but meat and milk products and uh, you know fish and all these things are not only contaminated with additives with chemicals with uh, you know um, there's so many other things they are also contaminated with hormones that are causing fertility issues these days so you should source it in a very good place and i suggest them to wear good shoes good uh, slippers or good uh, uh, you know uh, good things that their feet are comfortable with and uh, that comfort will last a long way and you have certain acupressure point giving shoes that give little massage it improves blood supply and it helps in pregnancy so shoes are something that you should really uh, invest on and uh, uh, you should <coughs> eat food with a lot of fiber why fiber because first trimester there's a there are constipation issues in pregnancy there are constipation issues because of the progesterone hormones your entire stomach uh, bowel gets relaxed and you have constipation issues so that has to be taken care of and we'll have one session entirely dealing with this issue and uh, if you include high fiber food both prebiotic and probiotic food uh, like what we've had a lot of sessions last few months definitely you will have a very good bowel regulating habit and that that really really helps in pregnancy and there are so many foods which help in that way and uh, natural birthing happens only when you eat right and you're healthy and you don't have constipation related issues and uh, constipation is one thing that really inhibits labor at times so that is really really important and uh, Uh, any product that you're eating you have to test it and uh, you have to make sure that it is not unhealthy because pregnancy is all about health and birthing experience comes with healthy pregnancy a happy pregnancy and a healthy pregnancy definitely a healthy outcome like a natural birthing experience so i suggest everybody to have lots of vegetables lots of fruits timely intervention and don't gorge on extra food so everything related to food we'll have one session and um, small small frequent meals 6 to 7 meals uh, on a regular basis that is going to help you a lot and uh, the the moment you stop eating with the fear of vomiting you will have more gastritis so eat small quantities eat frequently eat nutritious food eat healthy food that is very important and do not overeat and i always tell my patients that it is only 300 calories per uh, day that you have to eat in extra which comes with one glass of milk and one glass of buttermilk so nothing extra that you really need to eat but people who are eating on on an irregular basis and unhealthy food have to regulate their food pattern with healthy stuff and uh, you know you should not count your calories though but eat that is really healthy and Op, uh, apt for what you are required for rather than uh, you know having binging and eating lot of things that you like see if for example if somebody likes mango you cannot have four mangoes a day that is definitely a no no but you can have one mango a day as a snack in the evening to have fulfilling that cravings if your sugars are all normal if your sugars are abnormal still you can have a mango but half a mango uh, at a certain particular time and not immediately having after having your food so it is not go- you know eating healthy and sustainable it's very very important and we will talk about this regularly whenever we are dealing with uh, things and uh, i had a session done that uh, recent guidelines is no coffee or no caffeine products in pregnancy because it has long term impact on the child so we are not advocating any kind of coffee or caffeine products in pregnancy you should stop it so that we are on the safe grounds and uh, lots of liquids lots of uh, fluids if you are if you are having vomiting sips of fluid and on a regular basis have fruits that are rich in liquids uh, i mean water have uh, foods that are uh, rich in water like uh, ragi malt and all these things and uh, naturally replace your water with water rather than lot of things like coconut water so it's it's very important that you should uh, you know take one step at a time and uh, assess the need for it rather than just taking it in a healthy perspective this is healthy i will have it no is is it needful you should replace water with water 
or if you feel water as boring with something that holds water very well but not replace water with coconut water and have 2 liters of coconut water every day it is not correct because it has got lot of calories also and that much of calories are not required for you and uh, uh, no to alcohol no to smoking and no to passive smoking also so it is very very important that you prevent these three things in and around you uh, when you are planning pregnancy itself and not when you are pregnant you should continue it before you are planning pregnancy detoxify your body smoke has a very bad effect on the baby and the mother and alcohol too has a very bad effect on the baby and the mother so you should avoid it even before planning pregnancy and stay away from passive smokers also if the father of the baby is a smoker you should allow him to you know, take a conscious decision and stop smoking before well in advance of even thinking of or thinking of a baby so that's very very important and you should have good vitamin d levels expose your tell yourself to good sunshine uh, maybe around 8 9 o'clock in the morning for an hour uh, or do your daily course outside in the sun and make sure if you're not able to do so then definitely you have to take your vitamin d supplements it's very very important and uh, you know you should not take risk traveling nowadays and uh, it's a no no for any kind of travel but if you really have to travel you have to travel very safe and very careful and uh, there is a tip about uh, you know having pets and you know cats and dogs and all these things they have to be vaccinated and uh, people who do not have them not an issue because uh, there are several several uh, you know uh, diseases which are coming from uh, animals and which are coming from cat litter and uh, you know dog litters and uh, other animals uh, where in examples i can give you like toxoplasmosis this is a, an infection that can be caused because of pets or any animals uh, exposure to animals this can cause miscarriages congenital abnormalities so uh handling minimal avoid if you can and uh, it is very important that you have a balance of it and if you have pets at home get them vaccinated get them tuned to the environment and get everything uh balanced because a pet is equal to a child and another child coming in you should be able to take care of both of them and uh, uh if you have any cravings you should encourage your cravings but not that you know varieties of cravings the people come into my office and say doctor can i have uh, you know pickle every day you know pickle like a pickle every day is fine a small quantity but if you want to have a pickle as a curry like every day it is absolutely no no people like mango the khatta mango and they want to have it a piece is fine but not the entire khatta mango you'll get acidity gastritis and vomitings so cravings are definitely yes but you should be able to look into small small aspects of cravings rather than encouraging craving as your diet so that's very very important people who are having sleeping issues definitely you should settle your sleeping issues make sure you have adequate rest 8 6 to 8 hours of uninterrupted sleep and if you have any issues you have to go through and come and sit in your doctor's office and settle about sleep we have done lots of sessions about sleep and we will do another session about sleep in pregnancy and how sleep healthy sleep uh, improves your natural delivery and normal delivery outcomes so i will do a session on that and uh, whenever you're traveling you wear your seat belts and you travel safe uh, especially when you're going to office when you're commuting when you're taking public transport proper mask hand sanitization techniques little bit of social distancing is very very important and do not do not take anything over the counter and do not uh, you know do phone consultation for various things pregnancy is a special situation and even cold cough and headache during pregnancy has to be reported to your doctor and make sure that if possible you go to the doctor and consult because examination of a patient is is very important to get an information to what is the reason rather than a phone consultation and even in the middle of the night uh, you should access have access to healthcare choose a hospital which gives you access to healthcare even in the middle of the night so even i have lot of my assistants working the entire night shift 
and whenever some uh, problem is there they reach out to the emergency where my assistant checks them and then uh, they inform me if there is an issue if there is no issue they reassure them give them primary medications and send and that uh, assistant should be a gynecologist and properly trained in every kind of an emergency that is uh, that can come in so it is very important that your team is good and you play and you are a team player and uh, nothing happens for single practice clinic practice no it is it is very difficult to uh, have a very good healthy care you know wholesome care with a clinic practice you should be associated to hospitals you should be associated to some kind of a hospital where you have your assistants uh, giving round the clock care and uh, you are at the end of the day answerable to every kind of small problems that come to women booked under you so that's really really important and i always insist on dental checkup that is really really important all second trimester once you enter your second trimester have your dental check have your eye check so that is really important and you have any skin issues a skin checkup is also must so this is to avoid preterm deliveries you know dental caries can give you preterm deliveries you it will kill your you know a uh, 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 dream of having a full term natural birthing experience so any dental caries can give you internal infection and it can give you preterm labor and preterm deliveries any dental problems like periodontitis like uh, you know gum infections and all these things can be a reason behind having preterm delivery so it is very important that you should look forward for uh, a very good experience so have your dental checkup in the second trimester once you enter your fourth month have your eye checkup because you will have visual problems especially if you have eye pa- eyesight power you will have little bit of edema people who are using contact lenses should have an eye checkup done so it is important these small small things uh, help you in the long way achieving your uh, you know normal delivery experience and uh, it is important that you know you enroll in a place where they give you all that is required in terms of prenatal education so enroll in prenatal classes make sure your that both husband and wife along with the family if possible go to the classes learn things about uh, child rearing child chemistry and uh, you know how to talk to your child all these things there are several several classes that are available and we are going to cover everything in this uh, you know 30 days or the next two coming two months it is very important that we take it forward in a scheduled manner and uh, i always tell people that you should uh, you know uh, try spending time with your friends who have little kids so that you will have first hand experiences what is happening in uh, you know one's life with children so that you will also have uh, that kind of uh, you know intro at least so try handling small kids try learning small small things and we at uh, cuddles we have uh, prenatal sessions with child uh, uh, you know child care sessions and newborn handling sessions so that is also very important uh, so that even the father is uh, trained well f- at least for diaper changing and taking care of the baby whenever the mother is busy so it is important the partner is roped in and they are given uh, you know primary role along with the mother so that's very very important and uh, you should always look into the facility where you're going to deliver and you should have a birth plan and uh, you should be comfortable with the place and you should be comfortable with the people who are going to deliver you who are going to assist you in delivery so that is why even in uh, the hospital that i work i have my team whom i introduce to the pregnant woman go meet uh, you know go meet uh, pratima and come go meet nirbala and come go meet shriya sister and come learn this exercises you have leg cramps go she'll give you some tips about food she'll give you some tips about uh, meet the dietitian and come so i make sure there is an interaction between the labor team and the ones who support in labor in day to day care and access during uh, the antenatal care so that gives a lot of confidence they, nobody is new they know each other they give that kind of a you know positive uh, vibrations and they are very comfortable during labor also they listen to uh whoever has been introduced to them previously so that is a very fundamental tip that i'm really talking about uh, today because that is my practice and that is how i have achieved 
so many natural births no many normal deliveries so many you know difficult uh, cases that have delivered normally and you should practice relaxation techniques de stress yourself make sure one or two hobbies that are there and we teach lots of things in prenatal classes that really helps you uh, deal with uh, stress and day to day activities that is really really important and uh, some kind of a stress relief uh, methods you should follow and i will do a session on that uh, coming days and um, do not over medicate yourself and uh, it which is not necessary only the required amount of medications you should take uh, there are people who uh, you know buy stuff like you know uh, some brands that that are supposed to be healthy but they do not have any healthy ingredient in sufficient uh, quantities so don't go by advertisements don't go by brands don't go by you know commercial elements that come into the rope just go by what your doctor says and what your doctor gives and what your doctor asks you to take because those are authentic practice tested and correct doses that you have to take so other than that enjoy your nutritious food and do not over medicate yourself so that is very important and uh, exercise but don't overdo it you know morning you do pilates evening do you yoga eve afternoon you do something no there should be a regime not more than 1 hour of any kind of a physical activity for pregnant women in that you can experiment on one or two activities for some time and uh, do not uh, fix on to so many things in at one go maybe one after the other occasionally here there you can figure out but all it it all depends on how your pregnancy is and how it is going to be in the long run so there are so many fancy stuffs but not to be uh you know on a daily basis so that's very important so your daily curriculum is different once a while occasional things are different so you can choose what you want to go along with and that is very very important and um, i tell them that once you get out of the bed you do a little bit of stretches so that you will have improved blood circulation so there are no small small things like cramps and all that and uh, your fitness is going to impact in your pregnancy your birthing outcome and also the well being of your child in future so it's important that you have a very good uh, exercise pattern and a healthy living pattern to which you can give as an inheritance to your child rather than giving money or property and all that i still insist that what you should give your children is wisdom happiness no force education and health and well being that they can take it forward somebody who is healthy somebody who is well somebody who is happy will definitely be intelligent and you should not force education on them you should not force targets on them your baby is your baby and let them live to the fullest and that starts in the womb so your baby is listening to you you should never give targets to your babies you should never ask them to come first in class or best in class and do this exams good get so many marks absolutely no no you should be a parent who should be passionate about what your baby is and you should give that those things to the baby ultimately the baby should be happy you know happy is something that people are not right now you just go to a school or a class and ask kids how many of them are happy in their life you know two or three only will lift their hands the rest all are pestered bothered forced yelled at and they are all you know unhappy souls the happiness begins inside the mother's womb change your attitude go forward for a healthy thought process healthy attitude and uh, i always tell uh, pregnant women to uh, have lots of memories so take lots of pictures save them and uh, show to your child how the baby grew in the you know uh, womb and save save some pictures of the ultrasounds and if possible take a take a 3d picture and take uh, have some pregnancy photo shoots they are very very important and uh, Uh, they help you a lot, uh, you know, keeping up to the memories. I had one uh, memorable photo shoot when I ha- was having my second child. So uh, that those pictures, I still uh, they're very close to my heart. Uh, my daughter's uh, catching the tummy and all that. So it was very, you know, those are the memories of life. 
सो यू शुड इन्वेस्ट इन मेमरीज यू शुड इन्वेस्ट इन हैप्पीनेस यू शुड इन्वेस्ट इन अ हैप्पी प्रेगनेंसी हेल्दी प्रेगनेंसी दैट इज हाउ यू गोइंग टू हैव इट ऑल नेचुरल एंड अ नेचुरल बर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस सो वी डिस्कस सो मेनी थिंग्स टूडे एंड वी विल डिस्कस वन आफ्टर द अदर वन आफ्टर द अदर एवरी डे सो दैट वी प्रमोट नेचुरल प्रेगनेंसी हैप्पी प्रेगनेंसी हेल्दी प्रेगनेंसी एंड अ नेचुरल delivery and a normal vaginal delivery so that's all for today and we will take lots of questions we will have interactive things there were so many people watching uh it's really good that you know people are taking time in the morning it can be for you it can be for your wife it can be for your friends it can be for your sister brother brother's wife anybody so it it is essentially important that we have awareness about pregnancy and how to improve pregnancy outcomes so that's all for today and i'll catch you up tomorrow morning with a very interesting topic uh, an individual topic not generalized this was an introductory session so that you will know what am i going to talk the entire one or two months that we going to do but tomorrow we'll have an individual topic and we'll talk on that topic and i will take questions in between any question comes in i will answer that so uh that's all for now see you bye bye see you tomorrow morning again at 7:30